Hi, welcome to part three of my sharing of my journey with the teachings of Bruno Gruning. So part two ended on quite the sad note, quite the tragic note. Uh, uh, ended my relationship with, with Len, um, was heartbroken, felt really disconnected from Bruno and the teachings. But I'd like to back up a little bit and, and address the question, how did I meet Lynn? Because it's, it's, it's actually very connected to Bruno and to this journey. So um, I was about two or three months into my journey with Bruno Grinning. I had a couple healings and I was really feeling the energy very strong. I was very confident that all, I had a few healings, but I still had some major very significant health issues, but I was convinced that they were all going to heal. And after one community hour, uh, people were really excited and they were saying, are you going to go see Brazzo? Are you going to go see Brazzo? I'm going to go. I don't know if I have enough money to go, but I'm going to try to go. Everyone was like, <laughs> and I was like, who's Brazzo? And they're like, oh, he's this guy from Croatia who gazes at people. And people see auras and have healings. And my friend was like, yeah, basically people just kind of pop. <laughs> you know, that was his street way of saying people have spiritual awakenings. And I was like, oh, well, that's cool. But I feel like I ha kind of I have everything I really need with Bruno and these teachings. And oh, But that's cool. But that night, uh, that next, mor next morning, I woke up and I was just... I heard this voice. It was kind of my mental voice, but I heard this voice just going, Brazzo, 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 Brazzo. So I'm like, well, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to go. I didn't really know. Um, I kind of didn't want to go, but I felt kind of called in a sense. And so I went and um, it wasn't far away where Brazzo was going to be. And... Uh, So I, I signed up, I was going to do a whole day of gazing. There were different gazing sessions. So the first session, I didn't feel anything. Uh, you know, when Brazzo used to do this, uh, he would do like seven or eight gazings a day. And then the second session, I didn't feel anything. Um, and so at that point, I was still wearing sunglasses. I had very severe eye problems. Uh, I, I used to have an eye patch and sunglasses, but the eye patch was healed with help from Bruno, but I still had the sunglasses because my eyes still burned quite a bit. Uh, so, so basically when Bratza would come out, I would just lift up my sunglasses and I'd gaze for seven minutes and then I'd put them back down. I didn't feel anything the first time didn't really feel anything the second time. I was like, maybe I felt something, maybe I didn't. The third time I felt something. Uh, you know, eyeglasses up. I kind of felt a good feeling. Um, I, I felt like, because basically what I would do, and also I, I had a lot of fatigue. So what I would do is I would gaze, and then after the gaze, I would go run and be by myself and kind of rest to get ready for the next, because I was just, I was a mess back then. Like my eyes were messed up. I had this extreme fatigue. But after the third one, I'm like, I don't want to go be alone. I want to connect with people, which was pretty unusual for me. I was quite the hermit back then out of necessity because my health was so bad. Um, and, uh, the fourth one, took the sunglasses up, gazed, and I forgot to put the sunglasses back down. Now see, I wore sunglasses all day long. From the moment I woke up, I put sunglasses on because my eyes were burning and the eye doctors, I saw multiple eye doctors. They didn't know, there were theories, but no one really knew what was causing it. And after that, I didn't need sunglasses anymore. Before that, I needed sunglasses 24 seven except when I was sleeping. And so it just like kept building. I just got so blissful and so happy and so joyful. And um, it was really a profound experience. 
<clears throat> and then the second day I just gazed more and more and just got really, I just got really high and happy, but not, not too high, but just like alive, felt very alive after it. It was very positive experience. So Bratzo was going to be in L.A. in a couple of months, so I decided to go see him there. I was like, well, I had a cool experience the first time. You know, like, why not? Uh, so I went to L.A. and uh, I volunteered. I, I was so, uh, you know, to help. There's all sorts of when Bratzo would, would gay come to the United States to gaze, it was like quite quite the undertaking. So so I helped out and uh, and... You know, I, I helped organize the lines. I think that was my task, and and then in, and then I would go gaze some, and then I would go help, and just had a wonderful, wonderful experience. I was really enjoying it. <clears throat> had a profound mystical experience, actually. I felt like I was somehow in the center of the universe, and I felt all this love. Again, it was really positive. And uh, I was meeting all these really cool people. I met a couple women that I found interesting. Um, and then um, and then the second day, I bumped into this woman I'd met the first day. And she and I went in and gazed together. It was the final gazing. And, um, and there were some interesting coincidences which happened, which I won't, I won't so much get into, but there was kind of this like instant bond between her and I, some of it psychic. Uh, she was, uh, it's complicated, but, but anyway, so we gazed together. And then afterwards, um, when, when we got out, uh, we were talking, I felt myself just melting into this person. I kid you not. She was talking and I felt myself just melting into her. And it was the most wonderful, comfortable. I felt more comfortable than I'd ever felt in my whole life. And I was like, oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> Needless to say, I, you know, I got her number. <laughs> I think I got her number the first day, but um, and you know, we were gonna stay in touch and and she had experienced something too, but she didn't tell me. But and she was about to go traveling uh, across Asia, actually. So uh, we stayed in touch by email and over the next couple of months, things just got better and better. I had more healings. I had more energy. And, um, and if you haven't guessed by now that this woman I met, that was, that was Lynn. And, um, and so it was while she was abroad that we were talking on the phone and that thing with, uh, the mother Mary, uh, Mother Mary tying our heart chakras together that I, I didn't seek discernment on. So to this day, I don't know what that experience was of melting into her. And um, I don't I don't know what to think about Brazzo because, uh, well, I'll say more about that later. You know, meeting her there and having that experience uh, set in motion a sequence of events that really the one of the worst things that ever happened to me. And yet I also experienced healing there. And many people, not many, uh, some people do. I, I won't say many, but the healings happen around Brazzo. So, so it's a very mixed experience for me. Um, and please don't let that discourage you or encourage you. Just tune in, tune in to yourself and, um, and see, and see what's right for you. So I think I'm going to end there and, um, it's the next part of my journey. I had to backtrack a little bit. Um, and I think I think everyone who's taking the time to watch this as I share my journey. Uh, it's going to be a bit messy. It's going to get messy in a little bit. Uh, I think there's profound lessons here about uh, the spiritual path and, and about Bruno Bernays' teachings. So thank you so much for joining in. Take care. Much love.